everyone and welcome to episode 17 of my Hogwarts Legacy journey. Now this episode is very exciting because May 4th, Hogwarts Legacy announced an arachnophobia mode on the game. Officially. I am so happy. I'm telling you, I was actually jumping from happiness when I saw the announcement because that just saved me. I don't need to I don't need my husband to play the game for me anymore. I can do all of the quests, all of the quests that I've been kind of saving up for him. Now I can do all of them because I just need to turn on arachnophobia mode and all the spiders are gone. Or not really gone. They're replaced by something that's not as threatening. <laughs> so for everybody who wants to know they just saved my life. You go to settings and then accessibility mode. And when you scroll down all the way, there is arachnophobia mode. And I always have to check every time I play, I need to check that it's on and it's working. And still, I still get scared because there might still be some bug, some glitch. And what if the mode turns off without me knowing and all of a sudden there's spiders again. <laughs> That's my biggest fear now. But let me trust the game. And especially and importantly, Sebastian's quest line in the shadows. Uh, all of those include spiders for some reason. I don't know what's the deal with Sebastian and the spiders. Anyway, I don't know if it matters which one I do first because there's in the shadow of of the mind and in the shadow of time uh, they're both Sebastian I just don't know if it matters I feel like it should I will do in the shadow of time first because it's not a main quest uh, yeah let's do that first let's go also guys I have been playing uh, off camera just collecting things I've been doing the endless Merlin trials also collecting the ancient magic spots uh, unlocking some flu networks stuff like that okay so it's right here I'm actually nearby <laughs> so we're flying I know, I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere because I was doing Merlin Trials. Let me just try to pop some balloons since we're already here. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's every time I'm on camera, it's just even worse. Okay. There's no telling what lies in wait oh. for me in there. Quiet. You're Where? here. Good. Oh, here. Hello, Sebastian. Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. 
By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't, I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Uh, I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what okay. I've read about this catacomb. Okay, we are entering and the mode is supposed to be on. <laughs> Maybe I should check it again. I should check it again because we never know. Accessibilities. It's on, okay? It's weird because my brain is like, don't worry, it's on. But my body is still scared. <laughs> it's like, it's still danger. Okay. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Oh, my headphones. Okay, having a little tech trouble with my headphones, but I hope it's fine now. <laughs> um, and let's go into this not so scary cave uh, and hope that my headphones keep working. I don't know, I'm still scared. Oh, this is one of those really long ones. Oh. Did you see that? <laughs> okay, those are supposed to be spiders, but they're actually little blobs with roller skates. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> yep, okay. I would be a machine guy. I'm still scared. Like, part of me is still scared of this. That was it. And the rest of the tomb okay, will be insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. They're not insects? What are they? I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. <laughs> this room is taller than it looks. Have it. We got in Leviosa. Oh. Mm, yeah. Over here. I'd wager the sarcophagi can be opened. Collection. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Rebellion. Brilliant. Looks like there's so many things in here. Opening all of these is tempting. Of course it is. We're here for a reason. I'd say I think the more is justified. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's keep going. Rebellion. Which. Okay, this way. It's like I'm not supposed to be scared anymore, but my body is still responding to fear. Uh, if that makes sense. getting damage even though I already defeated them is this a new glitch looks like another game glitch
Okay, there's a chest, but I guess it's somewhere else. Not sure what I did to deserve that. What is this? I hope this is gonna be worth it. I mean... Oh. Now this is the sort of great room I want to be buried in. <gasps> but then, surrounded by okay, grandeur. Sebastian. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Oh, we need to open Lovely. this. Bones outside the sarcophagus. We need to open that. Seems odd. You're already there, but the spider is not attacking you yet? Or? There's something here by the altar. Yeah. Oh. The Imperious Curse. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the Great Room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. Okay. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look. Bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Leave no stone unturned. Or, in this case, no bone. There it is. Bring them. Oh! glowing though. Am I supposed to put them together? What if... Uh... Okay. Right? It's weird, right? It feels like I... Why are you glowing? Repair. No. Never mind. I did want to open whatever that was. I don't know how. We can go through here. Yeah. Well, then, I assume eerie sounds come with the time. <laughs> I don't really like these caves. They're so scary. I'm supposed to do something with the bone. Okay, I think I should levitate them. I should bring them somewhere, yes. Don't know where. Where would I put the bones? Should I bring them to the door? That's a lot of bone, that's a And can I go through here? Yeah. We 
We've made it this far, but clearly we have Am more I to do. Am I going out of my way too much? What is this? Should I be here or am I getting ahead of myself? something in there you know i'm not sure if i'm getting ahead of myself let's just let's do what i was doing over there first okay let's bring the other one we got the medium You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Yeah, but what about nice. that one? How do I get in there? Should I not worry about it? Treasure here. Place. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. Do you have any idea, Sebastian? Of how to get in here? No? Okay, let's just move on then. Let us move on. Huh. I don't know. There's all different ways here. I don't really know which one is the way. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized what? something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, mm -hmm. but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Here we are, the second unforgivable curse. How do you know? Why did you learn the Imperious Curse? I taught myself. Don't tell Ominous that I've told you. It's not exactly something I can brag about, but it may come in handy. I think you ought to know it. Okay. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand's movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Okay. Something troubling ahead. Oh. Be on your guard. <laughs> yes, more spiders. Um, I haven't actually tried using them. So let's do... Thing. Here we go here. Huh. We're getting dark. There's so many on the other side. <sighs> okay. Big, big stuff here. Oh, more doors. So many doors. I don't know which way to go. It's kind of a Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a cinch. 
How gracious of you. Oh, I tried. Nothing else? Am I supposed to do them in a certain order? Or just go to a different room? Yeah. Let's just go to a different room. Sure, what I did to deserve that. Me neither. So many. Something just went wrong with the controller and my headphones stopped working. I'll be back. Okay, so I don't know what was going on, but my headphones keep, they stop working every once in a while and I'm having a hard time connecting them again. They keep not working and I don't know what the problem is. So I just switched to earpieces because I can't figure this out right now. So we're filming the rest of the episode like this. And also, I don't know, it was affecting the controller too, like things were not happening when I was clicking. But let's resume. Okay, let's resume. I am dying here because things were not working. isn't it <sighs> okay with my stuff.
I mean, I can't. I mean, yeah, I can go through there. I don't know why this one is. Oh, I can go through. Oh. Okay. A little creepy. There's still so much stuff glowing. Looks like nothing else there. So let's go back. Maybe I am supposed to go through the other... Wait, did I go through here? Yeah. So, let's try it this way. Okay, I got the thing. I'm supposed to put them oh. Prepare. I'm all over the place. to put them here. Oh! What? Cool, okay, so it just built a bridge. Lumos.
made the first bridge I don't know what I did with them where do I put them because see I, I have no idea how I did that I have no clue what the goal was <laughs> and that's mm. anyway let's move on there. Okay. <sighs> I still need to find a way through the barricade. And it was somewhere here. Let me try Bombarda. Wait, is it gonna open still? Nope. Oh. Were these always here? <laughs> Why does it feel like I'm seeing them for the first time? This looks different than what we faced before. Now we're also dealing with rune symbols. Come on, come on, please. This way. Please, follow me. You are head and shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Find the relic. I see why Slytherin and Steuben were so entranced with this place. This is definitely a place that feels like Steuben should not be here. Wow. Okay. <laughs>
glitches or the controller. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm actually, you know, being attacked everywhere or if that's a glitch. I don't know. Something feels weird and different <laughs> than usual in the game. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. I don't know. They're giving me potions. Usually they give me potions when there's a big fight coming up. The relic contains abundant potential. Its possibilities could benefit not only wizard kind but the world. But the dark sacrifice involved to realize its intent may be too great. Until we know more, please do not remove this relic. Uh, oh. That looks dark. <laughs> Sebastian, the relic, look. I'm not sure if Could we should be? take it. and rendition of the relic it matches this must be where the student left the relic i can't believe it after all this it lines up we've really found it what do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential i have no idea but we're here for the relic um yeah we came all this way and it feels weird to just leave it but i feel like bad things are gonna happen if we do if we take it the note advises to leave the relic alone i assure you we were meant to find this for anne's sake i'm taking it let's get to feldcroft okay sebastian i must keep this relic secret <laughs> this is on you especially for my own something uncle. happened oh who's that who is that is that Ominous. Ominous? What are you doing here? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows. I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. Are they gonna fight? How much did you hear? Everything. I was glad to hear you tell Sebastian to leave the relic. We need to stand together. Convince Sebastian this is wrong. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem hard. Too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. Go. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way, come on. Let's get out of here, guys. I don't... 
remember the way out, I think. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Is this the way? I don't I don't know, guys. I don't know. Am I the one? I never wanted are you just to following keep all me this or are you going ominous? the way out? Because I don't just remember. Doesn't understand. And I did want to worry. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Confront us! It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that under an expansion. Is this the way we came problems. from? I don't think so. Often it's still different. Ends. And then we're done. Exactly. We'll be fine though. I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. Yeah, this is not the way out, <laughs> but it was somewhere I haven't been to yet. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. I know, Sebastian. I know. It's also very dangerous. We're supposed to go to Felt Crawl. Why is it currently unavailable? That's weird. What? If I... Intrepid travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Huh. Why are the flu powder, the flu flames, currently unavailable. That's weird. I guess we have to fly there. And I can't fly? Let's go for a stroll, Sebastian. <laughs> go for a little stroll. Are you coming? Yes. I mean, that's a little weird, right? Why can't I just travel there? Oh! Is it on flames? Is it? Oh no. What's going on over there? When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what happened. Is there a fire? This relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. Sebastian, are you seeing this? Oh no. This oh isn't good. What is it? Smoke, over there, by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Oh, no. Let's hurry. What is going on? Such arrogance. You guys. <laughs> Thank you, doing.
fighting, Sebastian. Oh no. What have you done? Saved my sister. With an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Oh, no. Stay away from her. From all of us. Oh, no. <laughs> what did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What mm. Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Why, Sebastian? Oh. Sebastian, it's, it's not working out very well. He's getting worse. His family problem. Is Sebastian gone? <laughs> Undercroft. Okay. Undercroft. Hmm. Hogwarts. Did 
Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news. All right. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, challenges. Okay, so we have another of Sebastian, this time in a mine. Um, I guess let's continue uh, with Sebastian's quest. It's gonna be another cave or something like that. I thought my owl might pique your interest. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it, the way they did Rookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Hmm. I can try avoiding detection, even though I have been failing to do that. Let's try that. We need to see what they're doing, but let's not draw their attention. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. It won't be long now before Reach we the entrance of the mine. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Ranlock's loyalists are out for blood.
rebellion. <gasps> My slots are full. Oh no. They shouldn't be full. I can't use the flu, flu powder. Ah, oh, what did I do? I can't use the flu powder to go quickly um, get rid of things. And my things are full, so I can't get rid of them. Cool. <laughs> awesome. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. But we must remain unseen. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. You know which one I'd choose. Ha Perhaps we can find an alternate route up ahead. Sneaking around has its appeal. It is. And that was relatively fun. Let me see, can I travel now? Maybe not. No. Now I'm stuck with full pockets. <laughs> oh well. Let's go. Oh my. Why, Sebastian? Why you take me to these places? This looks horrible. <laughs> I should tell you. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. <gasps> How nice. Of course. Nothing I haven't seen before. Of course it is. Wow. Okay. For better or for worse, we're in. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Okay, I'm supposed to go all the way over there. See any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Okay. 
many over there. something here they want rebellion okay so this is another one of these endless places you can go many different ways <laughs> Check what's up over there. Okay, collection chest. At least I can collect those. Even though I'm full. And there's another chest. Here. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Oh. Then maybe... What? Well, there's a chest. Maybe it's somewhere else. Let's continue. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar eyes, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. <laughs> yes, all of the above. All of the above, really. Okay, I'm supposed to go there, but let's check this out here. Rebellion. Should have thought to conjure stairs. <laughs> well, this place is huge. I don't even know. Where to go? That bridge has seen better days. Chess, but I'm 
hopefully it's nothing good anyway. Hopefully, most of the time it doesn't give me anything good. Oh. Thank God for this mode, I swear. God bless the maker. These goblins are dead. What about this one? Oh, he's dead. Ravenia. Okay, still so much. We are going in. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Oh, hold on. Lumos. Lumos. Extreme danger. <laughs> I mean, oh, more collection. Oh. Why is there so many possible places to go? Let's see, I could go there or maybe that's the only one. Okay. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. <laughs> I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that. What do you mean? We have another fight on our hands. Oh. Why am I not surprised?
for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known. A rune symbol above the cavern door. Roundhog's loyalists never knew to look for it. Avelia. Let's see what else is going on. Still collect. Oh. Potions. Symbols. So there's one there. Oh, I feel like I can go over there. I can climb there, but or <laughs> or here. The peril. Somehow. Try casting at them more quickly. Oh. Can I see them all? Wait, it didn't work? I wasn't expecting that. Is there more than three? opened what am I doing okay Ooh. another passageway we should search the room first looks like a a weird place to have this room hidden. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Okay. Still, something about this place feels odd. Yes. on Sebastian? Where is he? Oh, where is that place? Sebastian? Oh. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. And this the way to Hogwarts? We can find another passageway like to the Undercroft. The Undercroft again. It's like everything is connected to the now Undercroft. For the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. <laughs> more trouble. 
I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Another mine. Mar and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Okay, Sebastian, I've been helping you. And this is how you talk to me now? Okay. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Oh, we're just gonna leave it here? I think we need to talk some more. <laughs> we're about to have a fight here. Oh, what are you doing, Sebastian? Sebastian? <laughs> is he dancing? What is happening? Oh my god. That's a glitch. <laughs> Okay, let's leave Sebastian with his little funny dance. I would like to do something kind of quick, but I just don't know which one is quick. This mom's the word is just speaking to someone, but I don't know where that's gonna lead us. Or let's try it. Let's do this mom's the word and see. Okay, so right here... So frustrating! You wanted to speak with me, Mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. That's your message mother. mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing what? it. However, I am an animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the highlands rather freely until now. Much to my mother's chagrin. Well. <laughs> that is how I managed to spy on Rookwood okay. and Harlow. How? Were you born an Animagus? Or did you learn to become one? Animagi are not born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month. Then oh. placing the leaf in a crystal file so that it is imbued with moonlight. Then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time, it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, 
I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randwalk were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. Am you. I a bad example? <laughs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Okay. Was that it? I think that was it. Look at the look at the sniffler. And this cat. Alright. Let's see, what do we got? Maybe let's also do this. Maybe it's only to talk also and nothing too big. So hopefully, but let's see. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you were doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? Oh, if that's I guess right, it's not just a dog. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply I think something standing happened here. with the color You'd of the game. You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? I don't know. I don't we know. only need to return her egg. I don't know what happened. I didn't change anything. You're making this sound simple, but this is a dragon after all. Hebrideans can be aggressive, but they're also clever. She caught on quickly enough when you showed her how to escape the tent. She'll understand why we're here once she sees her egg. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been okay. through enough already. I'm ready when you are. There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh. oh, good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons.
is worth. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we've done what we came to do. Charming. They keep in touch with each other. Oh, I still haven't <laughs> emptied my pockets. <laughs> there she is again. Good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans love sheep. How lucky for us. Watch your Where? step. Are we going the right way? Or just raring for a fight. Quiet, what was that? There's no turning back. Domain. She'll make sure we know it. Welcome. It's a little too warm if you ask me. Uh, I don't oh. suppose you'd listen to reason. Uh, I'd normally oh, try, more. but we're well past that. Oh, you're not doing it twice?
There's the nest. We're almost there. Are we? It looks far away. Okay. Why is every bridge here broken? We got him, I know. Yeah. Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Alive. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize. That's what Gran always says. The important thing is that we survived it. And we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. What happened? What did I miss? How could I have been so blind? What is it, Poppy? Also done. Uh, yeah, so I am going to leave the video here. Um, I'm very happy that I'm finally now able to fully enjoy the game and do all of the quests and side quests involving spiders. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy that they added this mode. Uh, I feel like it should have been there since the beginning, but you know what? I'm still thankful that they added it uh, before I even finished the game. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the video here. There's still quite a few side quests and yeah, I don't really know how close I am to finishing the game. Uh, I would think maybe I'm in the last third of it. I'm not sure. Um, hopefully there's still a lot more cool stuff to go through. So yeah, I'm going to leave the video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye bye.